Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unbagging my September Ipsy bag. Now I realize that this is the last day of September now when I am filming. I've just been kind of behind filming lately. Um, I really don't have an excuse, but anyway, I'm going to get back on my ball game. Um, so just stay tuned for that. I'm going to be pumping videos out like I was before. Um, but Anyway, we're here today to talk about the September Ipsy bag. Now, this one, I have tried two things out in the bag already just because um, they aren't things that I can physically try in front of you all. But um, I do only have on like my base today and my brows just so that we can try on some of the other items that are in the bag. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then you're in the right place. Just keep on watching. Alright guys, so like I mentioned today, we are going to be trying some of these products on. I am super excited to be filming this. I love unbagging and unboxing videos, so I am ready to get right on into it. Uh, the two items that I have already tried in the bag are the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bod Buff. Now, this product, it smells like all of the uh, Sol de Janeiro products. I think it's like a vanilla pistachio scent is what they say. I don't know about all that, but this product, it was only one use, and I honestly couldn't even do my whole body as thoroughly as I would have liked like I started to run out a little bit when I got to my arms but this product while it smells really good I hope I can squeeze some of this out still so you can see the color which I don't want to get it on my skin there you go <laughs> ew ew yeah that's the color there that you are rubbing all over your body. Um, so it is a grainy texture and it is this color that you're putting all over yourself. So you can just imagine A, what that looks like in general, but then B, like washing down the drain. Um, it's not a pretty picture and because of that, uh, I would not purchase this, I just, it, while the product may be good, um, the appeal factor of it is not there for me. And for it to be as pricey as it is, um, no thank you. The other item that I tried today whenever um, I was doing my hair is this here. It is from Ayati. Hayati. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but... There it is there. Um, this is a weightless smoothing cream and it actually feels really, really good. I've been using some Living Proof products recently and this actually smooths it better. Um, but yeah, so this was surprisingly good and the, the bottle also came like all the way filled up and I have like really, I have pretty long hair guys and I only had to use a tiny bit of this. It's like such a thin formula that it really spreads a long way. And um, I would think with a thinner formula that it wouldn't moisturize as good, but it surprisingly smoothed my hair. So that was nice. I don't know where I can purchase this from. Um, I'll have to look that up and I'll have everything linked down below in the description box like always. So if you're interested, it will be linked down below. But anyway, now on to the products we're going to use to get ready. The first one is a Douce, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Douce, I don't know. Um, it is a Freematic bronzer and it is in the shade, what shade is this? Sunbeam. So it's just a little pan and I do have a Z palette so I could just toss this in there but if you didn't you could just keep it in this little packaging um, until I got a Z palette that's what I did whenever I would get these I would just stick them back in there and it was inconvenient but um, I mean you can still store it 
Okay, so let's try this out. Now, the brushes that I got in my FabFitFun box, I have been using and I have been loving. They are really, really good. Now, I do have some Douce products. I've got some eyeshadows in past Ipsy bags, actually. And I actually got a Douce palette that had a highlighter and um, some eyeshadows in it in one of my FabFitFun boxes. The eyeshadows I wasn't that fond of. The, a lot of them I found were really glittery and even in the highlighter, if I remember correctly, it was glittery. I think I wore it like one time and then I, I never wore it again. So usually that, you know, kind of tells you something. But I am really liking this bronzer actually. It's blending out really well. And uh, it looks really natural. I think it goes really well with uh, my skin tone and how pasty white I am. Okay. Yeah, I really, really like that. It is a little powdery. Um, I will say that, but that really does not bother me. And I'm not dusting this off or doing this off on my hand at all, guys. I'm going like straight in from the product. I know you can't see that in the frame, but I'd like to let you guys know. Oh yeah, I'm actually digging that. I do have a blush from them that I really, really like. It was a peachy color and I actually got it in a Ipsy bag. In an Ipsy bag. Um, so yeah, I really like that actually. I can definitely see myself getting some use out of it. I really want to get a little Z palette, like one of the little squares, you know, um, just to put like a few of the products that I use all of the time and this could go in there and that blush as well. I have a few blushes that could go in there. Okay, so the next thing in the bag is a brush from Luxie. It is the Luxie 140 Detail Tapered Blender and they actually went in collaboration with Warner Brothers. This is a Wonder Woman brush. So it is like a bluish gray color and then you can see the Wonder Woman little symbol there. And then the feral is, oh, it's on the feral as well. You can see there. Anyway, this is a cool brush. I can't say that I have any brushes shaped exactly like this. It is like a, a big, soft, fluffy cone. So interested and and usually the full size products that I get in glam bags are the brushes and usually they are Luxie brushes and Luxie brushes are super good quality. I love Luxie brushes. I can't say enough good things about them. They wash extremely well. They're extremely soft. Um, they blend really well. Um, I have no problems with them shedding like ever. So I know that this will be good and I know that I can find some way to use this and um, you know, pull that out in my collection. So yeah, I know that I um, have already got the value out of my bag just from this item alone. I love getting these brushes. So that's one of the reasons that I'm actually still subscribed to Ipsy because Brushes are something that I love to have because you don't have to wash your brushes as much, obviously, but they're not something that I necessarily like love to buy. But um, yeah, so the next part, I'm sorry, I was already pulling that out of the box. It is from IBY and you guys know that's one of my favorite brushes that I have is an IBY crease brush. Um, but anyway, this is the City Limits 
uh, Lush Eyeshadow in the shade Fire and Ice. And the packaging of it is really cool. It reminds me of like a little Becca product. The way it's like disc shaped and uh, it opens up like that there. Now it does not have a mirror, but there you go. It is a single eyeshadow and it actually looks like it is duochrome. Okay, so here is the color swatched there. It reminds me a lot of the color in the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette beautiful shade. I hope that that is translating on camera like it is in person. It is like a brick brown color in one light and then you shift and you can see the green. So yeah, I really am digging that shade thus far. Now for the eye look today, I think I'm just going to go super super neutral and I'm going to go into that bronzer and I'm going to take my classic Ben Gotches brush and I'm just going to fluff this into my crease going to be a very very simple eye look today okay then a lot of the times what I like to do when I want like a super blended crease look is I will take the same shade and I will just concentrate it into the crease so I'm going to go into that bronzer shade and I'm just going to put that directly into the crease there. And I like to hold my eye open a lot of the times when I do that, as you can tell. Um, I just think that it fits more seamlessly into the crease. I don't know. I could be crazy, but... That's just how I like to do it. Alrighty then. Now I could also see using this to like do your inner corner here or even like your brow bone um, highlight. I think that would be a great purpose for this brush as well. Um, so yeah, you can always use brushes in multiple ways. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now we are going to go in with the star of the show here. And I am going to take that on my IBY, I think it's like an eyeshadow fl fluff brush, I do believe. So I'm just going to see how this applies on the brush. Hmm. That actually applies quite nicely with a brush. Normally, you wouldn't get this much pigment, I feel like, with a lot of shadows. Um, and I would just go on with my finger. But I, this one looks pretty good to apply with a, with a brush, for sure. Okay. Now, on the other side, I think I'm going to go in with my finger and see if we see a difference. Uh, I would say that it looks better with the finger application so I'm just going to go in here and apply a little bit more so it did I thought it applied pretty nicely with the uh, brush but the finger stays true here and I hope you can see that green there. 
But yeah, you can see like, look, do you see like green on this eye and the other eye looks red? I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, not really like an everyday color, I don't think for most, but I think I'm actually going to take this on the lower lash line as well. And uh, I think pretty wide even. Like I'm not even going to try to tuck this away, I'm just going to throw it on there. Alright guys, so this is like, you know, the eye look that you can get with that and I do like the color. It's definitely unique. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I will catch back up with you guys and give you my final thoughts on the bag as well as its total value. Alright guys, I am back. I've got all my makeup applied. If you are interested in anything that is on my face, it will be listed and linked down below in the description box. There is tons of information in that description box if you guys um, ever take a look at that. Um, so anyway, let's go over this bag. Now, let's talk about number one, the bag in general. I think overall this is a pretty cute bag, you know what I mean? Um, it it, it is that like kind of canvasy type of material. It's smooth, but it's like rough at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, this outer, I mean, this bottom liner here is only on the front. It does not continue to the back, which is no big deal. I'm just pointing that out. But I actually like the design of it in general. And um, it is definitely a usable bag for sure. It's got the little uh, shimmery, pull here and then it is pink aligned on the inside so just a cute bag overall now the brazilian bod buff let's start with that because that was the most displeasing thing in this bag this i mean it was fine to use it definitely let me know that the color does matter on these products it was just not the type of color that you make a product like this um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, this, the full size is 5.4 ounces. It actually has 4.3 stars online, which I thought was weird. Um, you know, it, the formula was good, I will say that. But anyway, it the full size of this retails for $25, which puts my little sample size here, valuing at $232. The next thing is the Hayati Weightless Smoothing Cream. The full size of this is four ounces and it retails for $17.50. It said it had keratin in this to seal your cuticles and control frizz. Um, when used with heat, it intensifies shine and smoothing. And I did um, straighten my hair just a little bit. So yeah, I mean, it does look shiny. I didn't notice that I'm more so uh, you know, noticed how smooth my hair was. Like after I blow dried it, it didn't have nearly as much frizz as it normally does and it felt so smooth. Um, so I do really like this and the value of this sample is 438. The next product is the Douce Freematic Bronzer. The full size bronzer retails for $38. However, it did not give the size in ounces or grams of the product the sample did but the full size online I could not find it listed anywhere so the full size retails for $38 very very conservatively I would say that this is probably a $3 value so that's that's very conservative if you're talking about a $38 bronzer but okay the next thing sorry I have my notes down here in front of me is the IBY eyeshadow and I do quite like the way that this looks um, like I said it does look kind of red especially on camera I feel like it pulls more red but in person um, it kind of looks like bluish green I can see red even some like maroonish plum type of a look 
Anyway, it's very cool the way that it shifts. This, they don't sell online in a single. I could only find this color on their website in a 12 color City Limits palette, and it did, you know, say that this was City Limits, um, but it was out of a 12 color City Limits palette that retailed for $12. So if I do the math, this is $1.66 value here, which I would definitely say it's worth that for sure. All right, and the last thing is the Luxie 140 Detail Tapered Blender. Uh, this, like I said, is a uh, collaboration with Warner Brothers um, for this Wonder Woman Blender brush. I think that's really cool. It's got the little logo on the ferrule as well as the brush here itself. Very cool. Um, this is full size, obviously, and this retails for $20. I thought this was going to be an exclusive because I have got an exclusive brush in one of these bags before from Luxie. Um, and especially when I saw the Wonder Woman symbol, I definitely thought it was exclusive. But I think that's so cool that this is available online. And um, I use this for my inner corners and it was super, super easy to apply that inner corner highlight. I really liked how I could tuck this in. Um, and yet, like I said, I could definitely see getting right up under your brow. Even if you do like Instagram brows and you clean up with concealer, I could totally, totally see this working for that because it is um, thick thicker brush but it's so fluffy and oh, it's delicious so the total value of my bag was $31.36 I think that that is an amazing value um I really like everything that I got in the bag with the exception of this I could have done without that but everything else I really like and I think it made up for that product I am I'm happy with this month so I'm interested to see what I get next month if you are not subscribed please subscribe down below and um, hit the notification bell and you will be notified every time that I upload and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one bye guys